Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm showing you how to make an amazing phone and tablet stand that's so easy to make and it's basically free. You may recall in a previous video I made a rather elaborate cell phone stand to use for videotaping, recording, and watching videos, but I decided this time I would dial it down a little bit and come up with an extremely simple version that is extremely effective. And your basic ingredient? A milkshake straw. You can find them at the grocery store or the dollar store. I'm going to walk you through with a quick view of the make, a regular speed of the make, and then a bonus user tip at the end. To make the stand, just grab one of the milkshake straws and a lighter and start to heat it up a little bit, about a quarter of an inch down, and then when it starts to look a little glassy, bend it back, push it down, and hold it in place, and you've pretty much made the stand. All you have to do is cut it to size. To attach it to your device, all you have to do is stick a suction cup on the end. I was able to pick up 10 of those for less than a dollar at a discount store. To give you a clear visibility of how this looks from all angles, I'm using a clear cassette case. I've attached it to the back just like you would do a phone so you can see how you can angle it. All you have to do is move the suction cup higher or lower to make it more upright, or switch it to the side a little bit and lean it over to watch it at a different angle. Now let's take a step back and look at this in real time speed as we make one that's a little bit larger to use with a tablet. Again, you're going to start slowly heating that straw and I recommend using as low on the flame as possible because that keeps it from getting covered in soot. When it starts to look a little wet or shiny there, it lets you know it's melted enough to push down and hold in place. Once you have it like this, start to push gently from the sides and that will push the melted sections back in and make a stronger connection at your angle. This will hold up very, very well for your general use. You may find as I did that the straw is a little bit larger than the end of the suction cup and that's an easy fix. Just lightly hold the flame against the edge of the straw at the tip and pinch in just a little section of it, being extremely careful not to burn your fingers. Once you have it pinched in just a little bit, go ahead and test it with the suction cup and see how the fit is. You want it to be just snug enough so it doesn't slide off easily, but not so snug that you can't get it apart and put it back together. Once you're set there, go ahead and trim it to the length you want, just making sure to leave a little bit of an angle at the bottom so it can rest evenly on a table surface. As you see, even testing this out with a larger device, they stand very stable and I found that these have been very durable. The great thing is they're extremely lightweight and easy to take with you and because they cost so little to make, you don't mind making some extra ones or even risk potentially damaging them. I also have a great add-on user tip if you're going to be putting your device on a more slippery surface. Just grab one of these pencil erasers and put it right into the bottom of your straw and you'll find that you've increased the friction enough to keep your device firmly in place. Do be careful where you put your device though, just to make sure you feel confident and comfortable about the safety of your phone, tablet, or other device. In the end, you're responsible for whatever happens to it. These simple little stands are so versatile that you can quickly adjust it to make it easy to work with for doing a video call, watching your favorite video, recording videos, or even setting a timer for that long distance selfie. Have some fun with them. If you have some extra great ideas for working with them, hey, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.